This is one of my favorite ways of wrestling up when my opponent stands in front of me in a staggered stance. It is, to me, it's so energy efficient and very easy, and it's probably one of the wrestle up situations that I actually hit the most, regardless of the person's level. The person standing in front of me. Now obviously, you know, they're usually not gonna be just standing like still in front of me. They're gonna be moving around or whatever. So let's say we're moving, blah, 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 here, and so on and so forth, right? But the general premise is that he is continuously leading with a leg. One of the things that I love to do is an ankle pick on them. We have other videos where we roll up onto our shin and we get a complete single leg on them where we're hugging the leg. But you don't always have to do that. You can literally reach out and pick their ankle and stand right up by doing the, the knee drive roll up. This is what I mean. So I'll do it initially with him in front of me. Person's in front of me. Here, I put my hand either on their shoulder or their hip, their knee if it's necessary, but that's not the ideal. I like to control the hip and above because if I can push his upper body away, it makes his heel lighter, right? I wanna make his leg light as possible. So my preference is to push him with my hand that's on the outside, we'll call it the outside hand, here upward, anywhere here, right? My hand that's on the inside, I call this inside because it, it's basically on this inside space, is going to grab his ankle. So I do this, boom. That's literally all I'm doing. So he's in front of me, so he, you can get like a yeah, more realistic position. Here, so now, I'm not gonna grab his hip. I'm not gonna push his hip, why? It's so far away. What will I push? His shoulder or his head. It still gives me the ability to push his upper body. Look, I'm just grabbing by his heel. This makes, by pushing his upper body, it makes his heel much lighter. Now I'm gonna continue up. This is fast, this is not slow. I'm just doing it this way so I can demonstrate the movement. But I'm starting sitting and I do the curl up. Right, remember the drill. The drill that we showed in the beginning of this course. We're here. Boom. Boom. This is a great drill to do to get used to this as well. Right on the shoulder. Bang. Now we got him. His leg is in the proper position for me to take him down. I can take him down in whichever way that I like to do. We're gonna show you different ways of finishing the single leg in this course, right? So we're not going over that specifically, but honestly, many times it's that simple. And the plus is if it doesn't work, nothing happened. The person's just still in front of you. So if I'm here like this and I go here and I can't grab him, let's say he steps his leg back. Don't go back, let's say he reacts, right? Boom, and I don't get it, who cares? Right, I didn't get it. Now I do have the possibility of coming here, boom, and maybe grabbing this ankle. So I do have that possibility. So understand that if he switches his stance, you have the ability to possibly switch to the other ankle as well. You could possibly even do where we're here. I go like this, he just steps his leg back, and I switch to a cross ankle pick on him. So understand that if you miss an ankle pick, one, your situation is fairly safe. Two, you may be, may be able to follow up with additional ankle picks. So let's show this side, right? We're just gonna show you the initial setup. We're here, he's in front of me, bam, that's it. Come through. I'm here, we're gonna be moving, bam. Got the position, take them down. If for some reason we are here and we miss, we miss. Who cares? He's still in front of me. If we're here and we miss, we might be able to grab the other ankle. And guess what? If we miss this ankle, it doesn't matter either. We're still in a pretty safe situation. But if we get it, that's a plus as well. Or Let's say we're here, we miss. We might be able to get a cross ankle pick on him. And notice each time I'm pushing his upper body. Now look, I don't have the best position on him here, so I'm going to work to make it even better. My ideal is I come here, then I can work my finishes on him. I can tree top him. Many different options that I have in regards to finishing. But the main thing is, we're gonna be here, and lots of times you're gonna be moving around. Like we're gonna be here, we're gonna be moving. I'm gonna see that his leg is in front, bang. 
and I come up. We're here. I'm going to see that he's moving. And then I just grab it and come right up. Also understand that it's not very important in terms of whether you do the hip drive or whether you do an S turn. I do not care what you do in regards to getting up. Do whatever makes you comfortable to get up to the ankle pick. There might be a scenario where you see me do it and I do an S turn to get up. There might be a scenario when you see me do the leg curl hip drive to get up. If it works, it works. That's what I'm focused on. So I really love doing this. It is um, effective, but it's also low risk. So definitely add this to your arsenal.